head into the gym. It's been a month, I think, that I haven't gone to the gym. I gotta get back to it. But first, doctor's appointment. Super, super. Well, I'm done, but it is about to pour. Always around this time. That's something about living in Southwest Florida during August, September, it's rainy season and every day it rains like around two to three o'clock. Okay, so today started off good. Started recording vlogging with the Action 2 camera that I have. Went to my doctor's appointment for my foot because I have really bad foot pain. And at the doctor's, I get a super bad anxiety attack. Super bad. I feel like it's just getting worse the older I get, you know? I don't know what it is, but take medicine and just feel like it's getting worse. And not a lot of people know when you're going through anxiety because you try to hold it in. I was just anxious for no reason while I was getting checked, super anxious. After I left my appointment, I uh, went to the gym, did some workouts that helped me out, but it's crazy how anxiety works. You're fine one minute and then all of a sudden you're boom, anxiety just comes out of nowhere. I'm up to the point that when we go like on road trips and stuff like that, my wife drives most of the time because my anxiety gets so bad. I feel like when I'm maybe in between cars or trucks, or if I'm driving on the right hand lane, I just feel like I'm getting boxed in and I tense up. My heart starts racing. I start like getting like cold sweats or hot flashes. It's just insane. It's crazy. Like back in the days I used to drive from New York to Miami, no problem, no issues when I was younger. I think I might've gotten to the root of it. I'm not sure. Like a few years back, I'm maybe like, I don't know, maybe like around 2011, I had a car accident. When I lived in Alabama, truck flipped over. Maybe that that was it. I'm not sure. My anxiety while driving, it's just weird. Never had that. Always drove. But now, not only I have the anxiety issue while driving, my right ankle starts to hurt now. If I'm driving more than 30 minutes, my ankle's killing me. A few years back, I sprained it in Puerto Rico, never took care of it, and that's what happened. So they did an MRI. I got some just crazy. Like, I was supposed to do a whole vlog today, but my anxiety just didn't let me. Now I'm just sitting here in the studio with a cold one and I'm gonna try to edit the video from when we went to see the Mets play the Marlins. We went on Saturday, so that's what I'm doing now. And hopefully I get it done. It's 11-11, um, I'm not sleepy, nothing new. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. And if you suffer from anxiety or depression and you don't know how to explain or just keep it inside of you, let it out because it will help a little bit. When I started suffering from anxiety, I used to just keep it all in, all in, all in. And I noticed mood changes, just let it out. Talk to somebody, let them know, because the longer you hold it in, the worse it gets, even though it gets worse, but it's better to let somebody know what you're going through. That's all, have a good night.